Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. If you're a Raspberry Pi person, and if you're watching this, there's a pretty fair chance that you are, then you know all the buzz surrounding the recent release of the Raspberry Pi 400, the Pi 4-based personal computer integrated into a keyboard. There are probably a couple other things you know, too. You know that this makes your Pi sleeker and easier to take with you. You know that you can still utilize the Pi's 40-pin GPIO header. And you probably also know that as it stands, using that header will result in your hat facing backwards and down. Perhaps not ideal, and maybe not even doable in your situation. Well, that's why we've come up with a solution. Allow me to present to you the new SparkFun QuickFat extension for the Raspberry Pi 400. The QuickFat extension connects to the Raspberry Pi 400's GPIO using a 2x20 right angle header and extends out to the edge of the PCB. And this puts the headers in a vertical position, making stacking hats much more user-friendly. We've broken out a pair of quick connectors, one on each side of the board, to allow you to easily add I2C sensors and accessory boards. And of course, since our quick boards are daisy-chainable, you can add as many as you want. Well, you know, up to a little over 100. We've also given the board 10 mounting holes to make adding or stacking hats more stable. And finally, we're including four tall silicone bumpers to use under the quick fat extension, since it's not a great idea for your GPIO pins to be load-bearing. The concept here is simple. The design, sublime. I've got this sweet new Raspberry Pi 400 here. As much art as it is technology. How suppose I want to add a hat? Possible, if not awkward. Let's say I want to add a hat and a quick sensor. Well, there's no quick port. I've got a quick shim here. But in this case, it's not going to do me any good. This looks like a job for the quick fat extension. So with a little bit of code from Wes and Bobby, two of our in-house brainiacs, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to improve your life of Pi. I'll take my quick 9 off IMU, and I'm going to plug that into one of the quick ports. Bink. Now we'll take our quick top fat. Let's see, if that goes there, these go here, just like that. This will go into the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi 400. And now we simply power it up. Now I know you might be concerned because I don't have a mouse or I don't have a monitor, but not to worry. I'm starting in a terminal window, uh, a CLI, so I can see everything I need to see. Let's see, we'll change our directory here. Good, and then let's see, one, two, that should be there. Start it up, and there we go. The RGB LEDs will change color depending on the orientation of the IMU. Nice, and on screen, I'm getting not only the current color of the LEDs, but it's also showing me my values for X, Y, and Z for my magnetometer, my accelerometer, and my gyroscope. Ooh, blue. And that's it. It extends your Raspberry Pi 400's GPIO headers. It rotates them 90 degrees so that your hats sit the way you're used to, and they're more easily accessible and stackable. It gives you a fast and easy way to add quick sensors and accessories to your project. And it's as simple as plug and go. It's the new SparkFun QuickFat extension for the Raspberry Pi 400. Pick up yours over at SparkFun.com. And hey, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Oh, magenta. It's the new SparkFun QuickFat. Ah, oh, so close. It almost sounded like I knew what I was talking about there for a minute. Okay, once more. The concept here is simple. The divide. Allow me to present so close. I didn't love it. Well, I can make a hat. I can make a brooch. I can make a pterodactyl. I love that movie. Okay, uh, taking it again. I think that was better. We'll see if the light's any better. <laughs>